Marshall, I can't love you because I'm attracted to Josh. I just saw Josh. And there is some chemistry. So what was the talk about? It was him basically confessing his feelings. What are you saying to me right now? I don't want to be with you anymore. And... You want to be with Josh? I will find that out. OK, Jackie. That is very hurtful. I'm just telling you, Marshall, that I just can't be with you. I can't. I would like the ring back, because I don't think that you deserve it. Because you should never have accepted my proposal. Well, I'm going to keep the ring because I accepted it because I wanted to marry you. Everything I told you in that pod was real. And you know what? I, I don't even care. You can, you can keep the ring. Every time you look at that thing, whatever you do with it, I want you to be reminded that you passed up on something great. So fellas, this sounds a little bit too much to me, like begging. Now, I don't really watch this show. This comes from a show called Love is Blind on Netflix. You guys probably heard about the whole controversy about Netflix not airing the reunion live and it making social media platforms and they're going off and them not actually expressing why it was so late. But this is something that happens, fellas. Now, these three in particular, I had to bring myself up to speed on what was going on. You have Jackie, who was the woman there that was talking, and you have Marshall, which was the other guy in the clip. Now, the guy Josh that she was referring to was a guy that she was dealing with in the past, from what I gather. This is just from me watching other clips and things like that, which I'll probably show on the screen as well. So this woman obviously has options, but just like women who have multiple options and they can deal with multiple dudes, they only care about themselves. They don't care about anyone's feelings. So you see how easily she told him, even though this guy proposed to her, fellas, this dude got on one knee and proposed to her and said, I want to marry you. Meanwhile, this other guy was clapping the cheeks in the background. Don't act like this doesn't happen in real life, fellas. And I'll tell you a story here shortly. I think I mentioned it in my book too about what happened. But women have their choice and if they know this guy Marshall, he appears to be safe based off the screen. My man's like, you don't want to marry me? Give me my ring back. And you see the audacity of this woman. You're going to say, I don't want to be with you. I want to be with Josh. He revealed his feelings. No, you were just waiting for Josh, which is what happens. Women will deal with you in the moment or for a while, even if it comes down to marriage. She can marry you. But if the pookie, <laughs> I don't want to call Josh a pookie based on what I see, but dude be talking that shit. If the man shows up that she really wants, she's going to deal with that man and leave you for that guy. Hence, this man confessed, I love you, I want to spend the rest of my life with you, and you want to go be with this guy, and you're going to tell me to my face, and to put salt in the wound, you're not going to give me back my ring, so I can at least cut my losses? The audacity of this hoe, Jackie. Now, I watched a clip, I think it was on ET, where she was speaking about there were some things, he was rude, he said some things behind the scenes, whatever, blah, 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 blah. And obviously, she's not going to say that she did anything wrong. I know all you guys who watch the show, y'all can fill me in, y'all always do, but I'm just going based off the clip. This was before or after the proposal. So once he says these things, you're like, okay, that's enough. Let me go back to this guy because it feels good. It's a feeling process with women. And she's no different. She knows she has options. She's probably had other guys. Women, when they're in their prime or beautiful women are constantly having guys shooting their shot proposals things like that and they turn down so many dudes till later on when they're up in age but the pookie will always show up and come to the rescue <laughs> not the rescue but she'll just leave you for him fellas i knew this was maybe about 10 years ago my ex-wife was going to this older much older woman my ex-wife was in the street she was doing her thing hanging out with with these hoes right so one of the women was in her 40s she was about to get married to this guy who was a known simp, right? Known simp. She was screwing her baby daddy the night before her wedding that she was having at the Motel 6 reception on wedding, whatever it was, the Motel 6. 
Her baby daddy was clapping those cheeks the night before she was about to get married to this other man. And my ex-wife knew this. And I said, why would you want to hang out with people like this? Why would you want to be around with people like this? And keep in mind, my ex-wife was already wanting to be in the streets at this point. She was like, I just want to celebrate her happy. This is how crazy women are. <laughs> but they want you to feel sorry for them. I just, want to, I just wanted to celebrate her happiness. I was like, as much as you say you don't like cheaters, why would you want to celebrate her happiness if she's fucking her baby daddy and she's about to marry this guy i can compartmentalize that part <laughs> women will say anything that comes to their mind that sounds good and their girlfriends will back them up in a moment even their girlfriends know they're crazy as hell and in this situation it's probably no different now this guy probably made plans told his family set dates the other homie josh gives the pussy a heartbeat makes the box beat you feel me for lack of better term and that's what it boils down to, fellas. If you don't give a woman butterflies, she'll probably end up with you when she's washed up. But at the end of the day, she still wants a certain type of guy. She probably get with you for security, which Marshall probably was that security. You know, he wanted to marry her because old buddy Josh was taking too long. And that's what happened, fellas. Don't end up in a situation where you're the cleanup guy or you know that there is some express competition. There is someone and you're trying to compete with this guy. No, fellas, there should be no competition when it comes to a woman. I'm not about to compete with no dude. I'm not about to compete with anybody. Face card is here. Everything here speaks for itself. We not about to be going back and forth trying to figure out who's going to get her. No, she choose. Women choose. If she's choosing, she's choosing, fellas. And you guys should never interfere with that. That's cold what she did to him, though, but... Hey, at the end of the day, you can get mad. Obviously, she, you gave her the ring. Women are like cats. Women are fickle. Women change their minds constantly. She can like you today, hate you tomorrow. The sooner you guys realize this, the better you guys will be. I'm telling you, listen, it's just what it is, guys. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. What do you guys think about this video? Comment below. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit me up on Linktree to book a one-on-one -on -one with yours truly. Purchase all my books, merch, t-shirts. Helps to support the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. With that being said, much blessings and abundance. Stick around for the next video that's going to pop up on the screen. And that's where I'm going to see you guys at. It's your favorite everything. This is Wisdom. I'm out of here. Peace. Uh, yeah. 50 Cent. 50. Part 2. I'm going to bring it back. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50. Uh, yeah. Can't forget Tony. 50.